Hello Year One, Eric the Explorer here again and today we are going to be looking at an old treasure box that I had buried a long time ago and we're going to be looking at all the different things that I buried and finding out the properties and the materials of what I buried and then maybe you can have a go at making your own box of treasure. Here we are exploring again, wandering through, trying to find my box of treasure. There's my box of treasure. I remember I put this green fork in there to help me lift it open. So we have my green fork. What else was in here? Ah, the foil. My old balloon. And if I go around the other side, it oh, oh, fell in. It's okay. Ah, my wooden walking stick. My old grappling hook for climbing and adventuring. My old ring. My pet dragon. This piece of coal. And this rock. Today we're going to go on a treasure hunt with Eric the Explorer. Here's Eric's treasure and they've all got these properties. You need to find things with these properties too. Something flexible. You can see how it bends. So it's bendy and flexible. Um, you also need to find something stiff or rigid. This means you can't bend it. Like this piece of wood. You need to find something stretchy. Like Eric's balloon. This means I can stretch it and pull it apart. You need to find something hard, like Eric's ring. You need to find something soft, like Eric's piece of cotton wool that he found. That's very soft. You need to find something absorbent. Now this is something that takes on water. Like the cotton wool is dry and I put it in the water and when I pull it out, all the water has gone inside the cotton wool. This means absorbent. You need to find something shiny. Remember when we used the tin foil for the rhino? And you need to find something waterproof. So you like won. When we do you have your task. It's your turn to have a treasure hunt. You have to find something with all of those properties. Put it all together and put it in a video so I can see all of your treasure. Good luck.